Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan from GFX Academy and today we will start a new tab in Nuketem. Uh, we will talk about a very nice tool inside Nuketem that really save a lot of time when you uh, just work with uh, tracking or uh, I mean uh, adding different elements inside any video. Suppose here that I have this video from uh, uh, a match, an Egyptian match here. I have here the uh, player Ramadan who is walking back and I take just that shot and I want for example to add here a logo uh, on his t-shirt for example at that point okay and I want to do it very very simple and quickly. How to use the vector tools in, uh, inside the pen in order to do that task well first of all I need to hold a specific frame in order to just add that logo so let's use that frame at the middle point and that would be really better to use the middle frame inside your video okay and I add a frame hold okay with the same frame or the same frame number and then merge another logo to that t-shirt as you see you just use the transform node to uh, change its place like here for example okay and now I need to make it animated here with my whole video Nine, seven, ten. Okay. Number one, after you made that merge, you have to make sure that you have the same size as both of them. So, I have the main size of my video here, okay, with the same size of my photo or, or my image here. So, it needs to be the same size as we see number two you have to make sure that your picture or your logo need to have an alpha very very important not to have any difficulties okay so now what now I need to use my vector to analyze the motion and the vectors and the uh, distortion inside my video here so I need to go to my time options and look for Victor sorry smart Victor this smart Victor let's connect it here and go to that source first of all I have here an error that error needs to give me or ask me about the the path where you want to save your motion I need a folder so I give him a folder for example here and let's create one let's call Ramadan the name of my player here okay I, I do have another one so no problem let's call it uh, player okay and let's call it Ramadan dot one two three four dashes dot exr it has to be exr okay it will not accept any other extension oh I still have the error no your error here has been changed it asks you to render your um, motion before you click on the render button, you have here the vector details. The vector details here has a number that needs to uh, analyze the details of your video here. So, remember that. When you have a video with a lot of details, a lot of motion, a lot of distortion, you need to decrease the number of your vector details. If it's not full or of details and so on, 
you i i think that uh 0.3 is really nice number so let's render and go have a cup of tea and i'll be back okay i am back after we finish here the render as you see okay so let's close the vector details and now let's go back to add my motion so r back look for play and ramadan and now we have here as we see these vectors or these uh, distort that we got from my animated video so let's open it okay and now i don't need any of these just the main video so let's go back here okay let's go to my setting of the video just to me to be the same size of my video now i need to use this data to add the logo so go to the transform and just go to look for vector distort see so when you add the vector distort you have two options smart vector here and the source that need to be distorted and i need to distort that one so let's go here to distort the logo let's just make it organize it and let's have a look here now i have here my logo at the same frame but look here when we click play nice very nice see it begins to be distorted according to the data inside my distortion video clear great it's really cool all i i need to do now is just to um merge this with my video but remember when you add your vector distort to add the reference frame first the same frame that you already finished your first um, adding of your um, of your image into your video so you need to add a reference frame to start distorting your logo it will be better to be the middle one for more uh, detailed and for more accurate results you need to reference the middle one you can add the first one but it could have bad results at the end or at the final frames so you finish adding your reference one and now let's merge the result the logo over my background up there let's have a look and let's play it great as you see here it is stuck up there as if it is really already being uh, with my t-shirt without any problems suppose that at the final or um it's really close or it's really um, far away if your frames are long little bit long have a lot of distortion you need to tell your vector distort that my video is longer than that so go here and just add the frame distance in order lot just to make your logo a little bit far away so let's have a look here when i change my frame distance a little bit see my distortion it began to be distorted it began to be back far very 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 far so you can change your vector details vectors here according to your frame distance if it is a little bit longer or uh, needs more details okay 
In my case, I don't need it. Okay. And that's it. So you can use here, as you see, smart vector tools in order to use that just to stuck any elements into your video. Just analyze your motion and do it in a minute. Hope it could, you, could help you in your projects. And we will meet together in, a, in another tab with Nuke with Web Program. See you next time and goodbye.